What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagger here today again with another webcam video. Um, I haven't done album recommendations in a while. I had a great response to the first one I did, and I figured I'd do a second one. Uh, I have five pieces of vinyl, two CDs, and a cassette. Uh, I'm going to be showing them to you and tell you why I recommend these albums and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. Put in a snooze because general Swedish snooze is the best. All right, now, first of all, I guess I'm going to start off on a kind of a strange note since I don't really don't uh, talk about this style very much. Uh, kind of like a grinding, thrashing hardcore sort of sound that's heavily influenced by Swedish death metal. Uh, I'm talking about the debut album from Early Graves called We the Guillotine. Uh, Early Graves play um, pretty much, if you've heard Converge, that's what these guys sound like, except for very grittier. Uh, they sound a lot like Trap Them, that sort of sound, uh, All Pigs Must Die, if you're a fan of that. It's that really grinding, grinding metalcore. Uh, great stuff. I highly recommend this album. Uh, just a great song to start off with would be the song uh, Ballistics. Great stuff on here, man. Um, this album just rips from beginning to end and just decimates everything in the way. And for me personally, this is... One of the best albums of the style. Uh, their second album, Goner, was really good. The third one was alright. Uh, I think it was called Pale Horse. I can't remember. Something Horse, I believe. Uh, it came out after Mac Daniels passed away, sadly, the vocalist. And, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, he was a great vocalist. He actually sold me this CD uh, when I saw him open for Unearth. And uh, they were just a very intense band. Uh, great artwork on the inside. Absolutely love this. Uh, yeah, if you like hardcore, metalcore, uh, death metal, but not deathcore, this is very intense. Metalcore kids hated these guys when they played. Uh, me and my friend Alex, uh, I don't know if he ever watches my videos. I haven't seen him in years. If he does, uh, me and him saw uh, these guys together. and We were the only people there that dug them. At first, we were like, it's just a wall of noise, but then, after a few songs, when your ears adjust to it, it was sick live. So Early Graves is definitely a band you need to check out live, and uh, yeah, this is a fantastic album. Uh, rest in peace, Mac Daniels, and definitely check this album out. It's out through Ironclad Recordings, which is a subdivision of Metal Blade, or was. Uh, it's owned by the singer from Unearth, and I know they just left Metal Blade. But regardless, great stuff. Um, next, we have uh, another CD. We're going to talk about some Quebec black metal. Uh, this was in my top 10 of last year, even though I shouldn't have done it. I still did, because this is such an amazing album. That is Sorcerer de Glace's uh, Snowland 2012. This is a re-recording of their debut album called Snowland, which came out, I believe, in 2000. Not 100% sure on that, but this album is absolutely amazing. This is beautiful, raw, majestic black metal, just played in such a stripped-down fashion that leaves you speechless, and that's what this album will do to you. It left me in total awe uh, some of you guys know Absent Productions. If you don't, the link will be in the description to his channel. Uh, great, great dude. Uh, this was one of the first black metal albums he ever got into. I uh, posted one of these songs on Facebook one night, and he fell in love with it. So if you're looking for an introduction to black metal, check out a track from this. Um, really, really good stuff. I can't say any of the titles because they're all in French, I believe. Because I don't think this has a track listing. It doesn't on the back. This is a... Uh, Special Edition 10 limited to 250 copies. I got number 66. When I bought this, they were down to the final copy, so it might be sold out now. 
But if you can get it, definitely buy it. This came out through uh, Mankind's Demise. A uh, nice CD. It comes with... Uh, this weird thing. And a poster slash lyric sheet. Uh, oh, no. Uh, the winner... Yeah, the Winter Night Sky. Check that song out. It has this poster, which I am going to hang up. And then the lyrics and stuff like that in the back. Um, just a phenomenal record. Um, I might review this as part of Black Metal uh, Essentials. Because this is a essential piece of Black Metal. Uh, the Quebec Black Metal scene is bar none the best going right now. Um, if this was early 2000s, I would say Blaze Birth Hall over in Russia. Uh, I absolutely love Forest, Raven Dark, uh, Bronclad, I think it's pronounced, uh, Bronclad, I think, I can't remember, but great stuff. Um, yeah, Quebec Black Metal's dominating, and this album is god tier. Check that out. Next we got a cassette. Uh, this is Desecration of the Holy Kingdom by uh, Black Witchery. Black Witchery play very raw, very intense war metal. Uh, I hate to use that term with these guys since they're not really a war themed band, but they do have those uh, elements such as uh, that really raw black and death metal st uh, style. Uh, this was put out through, I believe, Nuclear War Now. Um. It has the Anti-Goth 008. It's a pro tape. Very nicely done. There you can kind of see the print. Um, nice J card. Full of band pictures of the band looking supremely evil. With notes and uh, lyrics. Credits. Uh, yeah. Yeah. These guys are absolutely amazing. If you like bands such as Revenge, Pseudo God, without the death metal, without so much focus on the death metal side, this is for you. If you want just really raw, straightforward, uh, ripping, ripping black metal, this is for you. There is nothing pretty about this. This is one of the ugliest albums you will ever hear next to... Uh, Conquer or War Cult Supremacy, or any of the Proclamation albums. Um, this is where it's at if you want to get into this style. Uh, I would say this is the most accessible of all of them, next to Pseudo God, maybe. But this is just absolutely amazing. These guys are from Florida, I believe. Um, hope to see them live one day because this is just some amazing stuff. Uh, I would say one of my favorite tracks on here would be Unholy Vengeance of War would definitely be a great one. Or uh, Chaos Storms of Demonic Hate. Check out those tracks. Ridiculously heavy black metal. Uh, just really, really good stuff. Check this out. Now we're going to move on to the vinyl. Um, only got four vinyls. I have a 10 inch here. And three 12 inch ones, she said. Um, Clinging to the Trees of a Forest Fire Visceral. Uh, this is uh, Grindcore, actually. I get a lot of questions about Grindcore and how I feel about it. It's very hit or miss for me. I prefer Power Violence, oddly enough. But I'm lacking Power Violence in my collection for some reason. I really need to start picking up uh, some Infest, AC, ACX, DC. Uh, Spies You, Weekend Nachos, stuff like that. But one of my favorite grindcore bands going right now is Clinging to the Trees of a Forest Fire. This is the Visceral EP, limited to 500 on vinyl only. I wish I would do a CD repress so more people could hear this. Because this is just a heavy grindcore album. This is the heaviest grindcore you will ever hear. Uh, they call their style Funeral Grind, and that's for a good reason. There's a lot of doom metal elements within the music on here. Uh, song uh, Lower Than Life, High As The Sky features some of the heaviest guitar work I've ever heard. And then it just kicks you, or yeah, kick with a punch. Uh, 
it just hits you so hard when the blast beats come in. The vocals are just filled with hate and malice and just over the top anger. And it is just incredible. Um, just uh, five tracks long. I really wish it was longer. Check out their full length. Amazing stuff. Uh, can't remember what the full length is called offhand, but it's a great album. Check it out. Check out anything from these guys in all reality because this is amazing. Um, I really love the unique vocal style. He has this very hateful... Uh, if you guys remember, Zayo has almost that sort of rasp to his voice, but it's even throatier. Just really nasty, snarling, just evil as hell sounding vocals. And uh, yeah, just really good ripping grindcore. Check it out. Uh, as I said, it's a 10 inch vinyl. Just on black vinyl, but uh, great stuff. I found this at Relapse a year or two ago for, I want to say it was five bucks, five or eight dollars, something like that. If you could find it, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, pick yourself up a copy of this. Great stuff. Next, we got some Polish black metal. And this is of a band that a lot of people don't associate with black metal anymore. Or they do, and it's completely incorrect when you consider their modern era. But I'm talking Behemoth. And this is their album, uh, Zvenith? Probably said that wrong. Storming Near the Baltic. Uh, this will be part of the Black Metal Essential series as well, because this is an essential piece of black metal. Just a quick rundown of my thoughts on it. This is just incredible. Um, really really good not and the forest room eternally was kind of wanting to be emperor but trying not to blow them that much and on this album they kind of veered away from that to an extent what they did with this is they kind of went towards that more of a graveland style of pagan folk influenced atmospheric black metal Really good stuff. Um, just so many good songs from the Pagan Vastlands, Hidden in the Fog, Ancient, um, Forgotten Call of Alderaan, uh, Wolves Guard My Coffin, Hell Dwells in Ice. Just amazing, amazing tracks. Very majestic, very uh, thought provoking in a way because it gives you all these images in your mind of these like battles going on or just a raging storm in the middle of the woods just great stuff once again if you like graveland or wood temple and bands like that this is for you um if you haven't checked out those bands definitely do if you like this you'll probably like uh, those bands especially graveland's older era which is my personal favorite although cold winter blades is uh, just phenomenal but yeah, printed in her sleeve. This is part of the Historica box set. Uh, but yeah, definitely buy this if I can get that in the phone. There. All right. Um, yeah, if you see this album, pick it up. I know it was on cassette for a while at Ominous Domain. I don't think they have any copies left, but you can see. Uh, pick this up any way you can because this is a really damn good piece of black metal for your collection. Um. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. I'll do a more in-depth review later. Then we have a piece of death metal. Now, shout out to Runner JMA because he's going to definitely nod his head in agreement on this. Um, this is Dizma, Vault of uh, Mambaros. This is some sick death metal. Uh, almost a blackened tinge to it. If you like bands such as Autopsy, this is definitely for you. In the department of the grittiness of this. This is just some very low-tuned, dirty as hell, raw as hell death metal. This is a demo, actually, that was uh, recently reissued by uh, Detest Records. And um, they did a great job with this release. It captured the true spirit of the... Um, original demo perfectly it still has that rawness that you know and love for demos especially of this really disgustingly dirty hideous death metal and that's what you get um 
I'd say my favorite song on this is uh, Chaos Apparition. Check that track out. Amazing stuff. Check out their uh, full-length debut. I can't remember the name of it offhand. I'm sucking with my memory tonight, but uh, great stuff. This is by far one of my favorite death metal, uh, I can't really call it an album, but releases. Just some very good stuff. Uh, this is on a very nice red vinyl. Pick up a copy of this if you can. Great stuff. Place at 45 RPM, so if you buy the vinyl, be sure you set your turntable back, because otherwise you'll be thinking, this is really slow and really heavy. It's slow and heavy at points, but not like that. <laughs> Trust me, I made the mistake. But yeah, uh, great, great stuff. Highly recommend you check out Dizma and uh, Vault Membros. Um, yeah, buy this. And last but not least, I did a review for this, but people always ask me about Doom Metal and what my favorite Doom Metal album is and stuff like that. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite. Actually, I can say it's my favorite now that I think about it. I gave this a 10 in my review for it. Look it up. This is Morgion, Cloaked by Ages, Crowned in Earth. This is a piece of doom metal that everyone needs to hear. If you're into death doom, if you're into atmospheric music, if you're into just music, I would recommend this because this is not a very abrasive album. This is actually a rather tranquil album at points with songs such as uh like the mourner's oak the beginning of it um ebb tide parts one and two uh great great stuff um just majestic this is an album that you will get lost in if you're wanting something to listen to on a gloomy day or a rainy day which is even better uh this is for you if you're wanting an album that can really speak to you on many different levels of not only just the conscious but the subconscious, this is for you. Um, it's nothing over the top. It's nothing extremely crushing, although at points it will hit you hard. There is nothing in the world, in my opinion, when it comes to doom metal that is as near perfection as as this album is so definitely check that out and that is my album recommendations number two also uh, there is a CD version available of this you can get it on uh, Bender and Recordings or Gear Distro I think they changed the name though I can't remember what it's called now but uh, you could get the CD version of this I would recommend the vinyl it's uh, 16 bucks I think 15 16 definitely worth it um, but that's it. I hope you guys like this. Um, if you got any questions about the albums or whatever, leave them in the comments below. Check them out. Tell me what you thought of them, if you gave them a listen or if you've heard them. Or, uh, yeah, whatever you want. Just leave it in the comments below. And that's it, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.